wealth of Falcon's wildlife, fascinating history and breathtaking scenery. Welcome to Saunders Island. A 45 minute flight from Stanley Airport travelling west takes you to the historic Saunders Island, owned by the Paul Evans family since 1987. I think the scenery is, is fascinating here. You walk up a hill and you, you can see for miles on a clear day, views, you know, there's just many views and depends what people want to see, but you know, there's so much to offer here, wildlife-wise, history-wise, um, a good place to visit. The settlement is the hub of the island and the centre point for the estimated 30,000 acres of farmland. Here you can stay in either the main house, which sleeps up to 10 people, or in the modernised 1875 stone house, which sleeps up to 6 people. Visitors are greeted by everyday farm life, including 6,500 sheep, 180 cattle and a large quantity of ducks. Just a 20 minute walk north you'll be able to roam around Jason's town, commonly referred to as Port Egmond. This is the spot where Commodore Byron raised the Union Jack, claiming possession of the Falkland Islands for Britain in 1765. Replicas of the flag still flies, and you can spot the ruins of the old fort as well as see another replica of the plaque claiming possession. The town, which used to accommodate 230 people, is now long gone and is closely patrolled by a gang of rare striated caracara, known locally as Johnny Rooks. People come, come here and then they'll want to go and see the, the first British settlement at Port Egmont. And that seems to be getting more popular, people wanting to go and see it more. I think the history is very important in the Falklands. It's important to the Falklands and I think it should really be publicised more. Six miles from the settlement is the Rookery, which there is a modern cabin sleeping up to four people. The site is famous for its large southern rock opera colony, where photographers come from around the world to witness these feisty penguins take a shower after a hard day of feeding. On the cliff edges you'll also find a large colony of the majestic black-browed albatross as they raise their chick in the nest made from mud and grass. The popularity of the rookery is people want to go there to see the rock hoppers in the shower where water runs over a rock and they get underneath showering. And now I guess the, the rock hoppers hopping seems to be a, a big thing at the rookery. The jewel of the Saunders Island crown is the neck. A narrow band of sand attaching Mount Harston and Mount Richard together is the home to a variety of stunning wildlife and landscapes. There is a cabin which sleeps up to eight people, providing the perfect shot of the wildlife right there on the doorstep. Additionally, halfway up Mount Harston, you can check in at the Swiss Hotel, which is a camping location to be more at home with the wildlife. The Neck is the most popular, that, that has such a lot of wildlife within a kilometre of the cabin. There's, there's four types of penguins there always, and then albatross, 17,500 breeding pairs of albatross, so there's about 6,000 pairs of Gen 2's breed. Magellanics, pretty much stable numbers, nobody really ever counts Magellanics, but there's a lot of Magellanics as well. At the neck, there's the breeding site for the king penguins, who happily coexist with a colony of Gentoo penguins. On the slopes of Mount Richard during mid-September, albatross return to their nest to breed. Eggs are usually laid in early October, with incubation lasting for up to 72 days. as well as spotting occasional pearl and commerson dolphins to the northern tip of Saunders is Elephant Point, where you can find the breeding site of a small colony of the sleepy elephant seals. It is just an amazing place to come and have the Saunders experience, you know, come and see the place, see the wildlife, there's so much wildlife here. Um, 
wildlife is still in charge. You know, we we don't like to have signs. Um, you know, just want to have it as natural as we can, and, and you know, we welcome people to come and see that. Whether it's venturing around the first British settlement, or having your pack lunch with the black browed albatross, or observing the southern wreckhoppers at their natural penguin leisure centre, Saunders Island provides a wealth of wildlife and history for you to enjoy.